Let's look at the Russia-Ukraine war. Dear viewers, Russia has attacked major Ukrainian cities with 60 missiles and 20 drones. Kiev and Kharkov were among the places hit. Ukraine, on the other hand, opened artillery fire on Belgorod. It hit a thermal power plant and an oil refinery near Moscow. Russia, which hit Ukraine's major cities over the weekend, continued its attacks on the first day of the new week. There was a missile attack on the capital, Kyiv. Air defense systems were activated. Explosions were heard. The Islamic Cultural Center of Crimean Muslims in Kyiv was heavily damaged. The walls and roof of the mosque inside the center were partially destroyed. A fire broke out in a warehouse that was hit. Surrounding buildings were also damaged. Despite the attack, Ukrainian students and their families set off for the first day of school. Russian Ukraine war. The morning started with explosions. My daughter's hands were shaking. We woke up. Our apartment started to smell of smoke. But we still have to go to school, right? We're Ukrainians. What are our soldiers doing? Fighting. The Russian Ukraine. According to the Ukrainian Defense Ministry, Russia attacked different parts of the country with nearly 60 missiles and more than 20 drones. The city of Kharkov was the target of the heaviest attack. Intense firing continued throughout the night. Ukraine, on the other hand, hit Kharkiv's neighboring Belgorod. Many houses were damaged by artillery fire. Parked vehicles were burned. A school was completely destroyed. One civilian was killed. There are also wounded. Ukraine also hit an oil refinery in the Kapotnia region southeast of Moscow. In the Tiver region north of Moscow, a thermal power plant was attacked with a breach. As the mutual attacks continued, Russian President Vladimir Putin spoke at a school he visited in Tuva. Calling Ukraine's invasion of Kursk a provocation once again, Putin said the Zelensky administration does not want the war to end. If the fighting stops, Ukrainian authorities will have to cancel martial law. Immediately afterwards, they will have to hold presidential elections. The incumbent Ukrainian authorities are not ready for this, because their chances of re-election are slim. That is why they are not interested in ending the war. That's why they launched a provocation in the Kursk region. Putin promised to normalize life in the border region. He did not close the door to Turkey and negotiations, but he said that first we need to take care of the bandits who infiltrated the Kursk region.